there's still a lot we don't know about the virus that causes COVID-19. Yeah, I think my biggest question is, why is this virus have such a wide variability? That's what remains unanswered. But a new study out this week gives us some clues. And if you're looking for reliable data, this is where you'll find it. Studies published in the New England Journal of Medicine are really considered top of the line studies. This one in particular mapped the DNA of COVID patients with severe respiratory symptoms in Italy and Spain. Where they have the blended family structure and everybody lives together, you often saw that father-son pairs or mother-daughter pairs actually had similar responses. The researchers compared their DNA with that of people who didn't get that sick with infection or didn't get infected at all. So they looked for genetic differences that could potentially explain why these 2,000 people didn't get that sick and these 2,000 people did. The findings confirm early observational data from China. In the study, the blood type gene stood out the most. Blood type group A had a 45% higher risk of having severe respiratory symptoms, and blood group O had a 35% lower risk. This doesn't necessarily mean blood type causes symptoms. It is, however, a genetic marker of risk. So as you layer more and more and more risk factors on, you increase the risk. Until there's a vaccine, better understanding that cumulative effect can help inform public health decisions. Who's safe to travel? Who's safe to go out to eat? Who's, you know, safe to, to mingle with other people? I think we really need to get more sophisticated in the risk assessment. Allie Levine, 9 News.